Okay, we don't have enough time to answer both of these questions in five minute video, but uh, and I'm also going to try to show you how to use Desmos to confirm your answer. Uh, this picture comes from a snapshot on the Desmos graphing calculator. So I've defined f of x just like we have over here. And then I've used the Desmos derivative operator to get the definition for f prime or y prime. And then I've also typed in the answer that I got over here in a little more simplified form. And then I made up a table to show that it looks like their G and Q are identical. So this is sort of a way to confirm your answer. So what did I do? I took the log or natural log of both sides. I didn't rewrite this part in here. Uh, then I expanded the log of this expression using the properties of logarithms. So in the numerator, the log of a product is the sum of the logarithms. And the log of a quotient is the difference in the logarithm. So this is what you get. And then this term right here, I can use the other property to move that exponent down front. So it's real, and then the natural log of e is just one. Okay, so now I'm ready to take the derivative. Uh, the derivative of the log of y is one over y times y prime, invoking the chain rule. The derivative of the square root of x minus five is one half x minus five to the minus one half times the derivative of the inside, which would just be one. The derivative of this term is 1 over the log of the anything, 1 over the anything, times the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of cosine is minus sine. And then I have to use the chain rule again. The derivative of 2x squared plus 4 is 4x. Uh, the derivative of this term, I have 1 over the derivative of the inside times the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of natural log is of x minus three is one over x minus three times the derivative of x minus three using the chain rule would also be a one. So over here, I've then to solve for y prime, you have to multiply both sides by y. And that's what I've shown here, f of x times all of this stuff written in a slightly different form than I have over here. So let me share my screen. Oh no, I don't have to do that. I can just go right to, yeah, I have to share my screen, sorry. So if I go to the Desmos online graphing calculator, here's everything that I just typed in. And you can see that if I, enable these two graphs they look like they're identical i don't see any extra lines appearing and you can type whatever you want in this table unless of course you type an undefined quantity like three it's undefined but as long as we have uh, x of one values that are in the domain of f and and the derivative and the uh, the function is differentiable at those points, you'll get values over here. And just to be clear how I inserted a table here on Desmos, uh, whoop, insert table, uh, here we go, uh, x sub 2, I change these y's to g of x sub 2 and out at, at a column q of x sub 2 and then put numbers in here like 10 and then i can go like this okay uh, there you go hope that helped